Hi, this is Miles Mary, the soldier of Mary. So we've had the 8th of December. Yesterday, it's come and gone. The world is still here, at least uh, where I am. Things haven't entered into a zombie apocalypse. Nothing like that's happened. Yesterday was the prophetic day announced by Father Michel Rodrigue. He said that St. Joseph was going to disappear and that uh, big stuff was going to happen. Some really conclusion of, of things that were already building up over the course of the year. It was going to really hit its denouement yesterday. But it, it didn't happen from where I'm sitting. All over YouTube during the course of the last couple of months, there have been videos sensationalizing the prophecy, so-called prophecy, that Daniel O'Connor released on behalf of Father Michel Rodrigue back in March. You can see some of the pictures here, really looking like something apocalyptic was meant to take place yesterday. It didn't happen. If you're listening to my video from your bunker, you can come out. You can come out and uh, maybe bring some of that food out with you and give it to some of the people that really need the food. You can come out because the apocalypse didn't happen yesterday. And it's quite possible that but actually, Father Michel didn't even really predict an apocalypse for yesterday. When I look over the message of March the 18th, which was pretty vague and pretty hard to, you know, understand exactly what he was expecting for, for yesterday, it seems to me that really what he was expecting for December the 8th was a global lie spreading, a social and planetary lie organized, prepared by the acolytes of the Antichrist. Yeah, and you see I'm highlighting the section here. By that time, December the 8th, is already started. All those who reject Christ find themselves entering into force of delusion that makes them believe a lie. So everything falls into place by December the 8th. False church, a social body of the Antichrist, fear, domination, communist and socialist ideologies, manipulating for a false universal brotherhood, infiltrating the Catholic Church. So, you know, it was actually a pretty vague prophecy for yesterday, except the idea that there was going to be a new global interplanetary lie that everyone outside of the church was going to buy into. That is, Muslims, atheists, Jews, communists, everyone all who reject Christ find themselves entering into a force of delusion that makes them believe a lie. I'm not sure that lie was meant to have been. And certainly we haven't entered into a situation where everyone outside the church has accepted one thing and Catholics in the church remain with another thing. Except, of course, the tenets of Catholic doctrine, which have always been there and which everyone outside the church has always rejected. So... I don't know. I don't know what was meant to have happened today. Although he did say some rather vague things that he wasn't exactly sure as to whether they should have occurred by the 8th or whether they were going to occur after the 8th or on the 8th. No one was exactly sure. But of all the vague things that he said that could have applied to any point within the last 2,000 years, there was one thing that was concrete and which hasn't occurred yesterday. Conflicts between nations will come to such a point that everything will seem hopeless. We didn't get that. We didn't get that yesterday. We didn't get that in the last couple of months. In the prophecy, the false prophecy of March, he spoke about the times of the refugees, but actually he, in March, he actually did a major U-turn. <laughs> no one actually picked up on this back in March. A major U-turn saying that actually time of refugees, it wasn't meant to be back in October 2020, like I'd previously said. Actually, it's going to come when the time of the Antichrist appears. That's when you'll get the refugees. The time of the Antichrist hasn't come quite yet, so it seems. And it didn't come in October 2020. Maybe his idea was that the year of St. Joseph delayed that but actually his prophecy was for October 2020 and not December 2020 it would have made sense maybe if he had he had said that for December anyway we've passed now December the 8th nothing happened nothing major happened yesterday that warranted the absolute emphasis that Father Michel and his followers gave December the 8th I hope that that's the last we've heard of Father Michel indeed he did say 
everything you need to know has been said. He said that this message was going to be the last of his messages. This is where I want, I want to give my own little prophecy. My unfortunate prophecy is that this will not be the case. Unfortunately, we will hear more, we will hear more from Father Michel Rodrigue. I prophesy, I predict, over the course of 2022, we will hear more from him. Even though he said, this is my last message. And I think that people like Daniel O'Connor will be willing to promote a new message, even though he said, this is my last message. You know, Countdown to the Kingdom, Daniel O'Connor. I hope that, that if and when my words come to pass, you put me on your list of approved seers because I will have then been successful 100% of the time. And that's a, that's a way higher success rate than Father Michel Rodrigue, who up to now has given failure after failure after failure. And failures that have that have been dangerous, harmful. Failures that are equating Mark of the Beast with a vaccine. You know, vaccines that the church has said, theologians, SSPX, and mainstream have said, yeah, sure, they are unfortunate vaccines. But they're vaccines that, that can be taken even though they are a remote material cooperation with evil. And they're vaccines we should we should all detest insofar as they have had some historic link to abortion. This video ain't on, on vaccines. It's on Father Michel Rodrigue. He's failed once again. I hope we've heard the last of him, but I hate to be the prophet of doom. I think we're going to hear more from him. Till then, may Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.